Welcome to Alice the Ballet. I'm so glad you're listening. Chapter 1. Alice. In which we meet Alice. Hi. There's a famous book by Lewis Carroll called Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. And today we're going to tell the story by music, written for dancers. So you'll have to use your imagination, which I know you're good at. We start with Alice at home, dancing in the garden. Alice is about 10 years old. She's wearing a real pretty blue sundress. And since we're using your imagination, you can decide what she looks like. Alice's older sister wants to read a book to her. But Alice just wants to dance. Can you see her dance in your imagination? Sometimes it helps to keep your eyes closed. This is Alice's song. It's played by a flute, and you'll hear it a lot during the story. Alice loves this place. She thinks it's very special. Well, Alice's sister can see that all Alice wants to do is dance, so she's decided to dance with her. Well, this is all fun, and everybody's happy, but a good story has to have some excitement. And Alice has plenty of excitement coming her way. Let's imagine Alice dancing to her song again. Alice really has no idea what's about to happen to her. After all that dancing, Alice is tired. So she lays down to take a nap in the warm sun. Chapter two, White Rabbit. In which we meet the white rabbit who takes Alice into Wonderland. What's this? A big white rabbit appears, dressed in a blue coat and carrying a big watch. The white rabbit sees Alice sleeping. This is the white rabbit's song, and that rabbit can dance. Imagine him dancing and spinning. Oh 
always having lots of fun. Alice wakes up. Did you hear the flute? She sees the rabbit. Oh, it looks like Alice and the white rabbit like each other. having so much fun dancing together. Ooh, do you hear that echo? The white rabbit is leading Alice into Wonderland and her adventure is about to begin. Chapter 3 Wonderland In which Alice sees many weird things in Wonderland. Alice will meet many strange creatures in Wonderland. This one with the clarinet song is the Cheshire Cat. And this cat controls magic. has big green eyes and he acts like he understands things. Very mysterious. I don't know if Alice should trust this cat or not. The Cheshire Cat is going to introduce a lot of different characters to Alice. This one is the Duchess. She's a goofy character full of fun and not too serious. She's very tall and she's all dressed in green satin. She's kind of awkward and silly. showing off her dress. Whoa, listen to that. Who's this gonna be? Oh, it's Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Can you hear two different voices? They're always together, and they love to dance. They're dressed in, like, funny clown suits, and they have hats with propellers on them. They're kind of short, but they're really big around. 
they're running around and bouncing off each other, having a great time. Oh, now they're just teasing each other, trying to find out who can dance the fastest. Oh, but they're smooth when they want to be. Well, Tweedledee and Tweedledum sure were fun. I wonder what's next. Whoa, this is a really big green caterpillar. This caterpillar is very mysterious and loves dancing to blues music. This all seems very strange to Alice, of course. She's starting to wonder what she got into. Just when things were starting to settle down, look out, it's the lion and the unicorn. And they don't like each other. Alice is about to witness a battle. The lion starts circling the unicorn. It looks like trouble. The unicorn is not afraid and stays right where it is. Finally, the Cheshire Cat shows up and uses magic to force all the creatures to dance together. Cheshire Cat starts with the slow dance, circling everyone. The Duchess joins the Cheshire Cat. Here come Tweedledee and Tweedledum.
They're bouncing off each other. The caterpillar is happy to join the dance. The lion and the unicorn are under the spell too, so they have to stop fighting and start dancing. dance is getting crazy. The Cheshire Cat. The Duchess. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. The Caterpillar. And the Lion and the Unicorn. Alice is amazed at what she's watching. Cheshire Cat decides enough is enough and uses its magic to stop the dance. Chapter 4 Tea Party In which Alice goes to a tea party in Wonderland. The Cheshire Cat leads Alice further into Wonderland. And they come to an opening in the forest and see a very strange sight. It's someone called the Mad Hatter, with a very large hat, preparing a tea party. There's also someone called the March Hare, who is kind of like a scraggly rabbit, helping to prepare the party. This is the Mad Hatter's song. Alice is very curious about all this and moves in for a closer look. That's the March Hare sound. It's dancing all around the table and setting the cups and saucers. The party table is coming together very nicely. Now this character is called the Dormouse. It's a gray mouse with big floppy ears who seems to be half asleep most of the time. There's only one thing that gets this Dormouse moving again. Yep, that's it. Oh, there's the flute. Alice has decided to join the dance and help prepare the party. So the Mad Hatter and the March Hare and the Dormouse were surprised to see Alice and they don't know what to think of her. So they start to dance with her around the table, keeping their distance. Ah, 
Ah, the Dormouse is sleepy again. Somebody better wake it up. Thank you. Oh, not again. I guess this is going to keep happening. Alice starts dancing with the Dormouse, hoping she can keep it awake. But actually, Alice starts to get sleepy, so that didn't work. We're in a pattern here. Fast, slow, wake up. This is getting crazy! Finally, the Mad Hatter tells everybody to sit at the table, because at the bell, tea will be served. Chapter 5, Royalty, in which Alice meets the Queen of Hearts. Alice is deep in Wonderland now, and she starts thinking about home. Can she find her way back? Or is she lost? The Cheshire Cat is still with Alice and offers to help. But he warns Alice that getting back home will not be easy. Alice can't think of any other options right now, so she agrees to follow the cat. They immediately come across a group of soldiers. They're dressed in clothes like playing cards. You know, clubs, diamonds, hearts, and spades. They're the Queen's special army. And they're getting ready for her arrival. They're called to attention. They go about the work of getting ready for the Queen's visit. They seem excited that the Queen is on her way. This is their Pledge of Allegiance to the Queen. Well, back to work. Attention! 
The Queen is here. The Queen comes in majestically through the crowd, waving to everybody. She's wearing a long red velvet cape with white trim. And on her head she has a beautiful crown of red and gold. She's the Queen of Hearts. The Royal Guard seems very proud of their Queen. But they also seem afraid of her. Imagine all this happening. Attention, the Queen sees Alice. The Queen wants to know who Alice is and what is she doing in Wonderland. The Queen challenges Alice to a game of croquet. The special guard goes to work and gets everything ready for the croquet game. Chapter 6, Croquet, in which Alice plays croquet with the Queen of Hearts, but gets into trouble. The White Rabbit, who seems to be some sort of official, hands a croquet mallet to the Queen and a croquet mallet to Alice. It's very strange, though. Instead of croquet mallets, they are pink flamingos. The Queen and Alice are supposed to hold them by their feet and swing them at the ball. Alice says she understands the rules and is ready to play. The idea is to shoot the ball through a hoop. The ball is really a small creature rolled up but it doesn't seem to mind. Alice and the Queen are getting to know one another and sizing each other up. The Royal Band is having a great time. Attention! Alice shoots first. It's a good shot. Goes right through the hoop, and that makes the queen mad. It's the queen's turn. Oh, it's a terrible shot. That makes her matter. She moves in for a second shot. The white rabbit steals Alice's mallet and hits the queen on the head. The rabbit then hands the mallet back to Alice. And so the queen thinks Alice is the one who hit her. The queen demands that Alice be taken to court, where she will be accused of attacking the queen. The royal soldiers lead Alice to court, and all the Wonderland creatures follow.
Chapter 7, Court and Chase, in which Alice is accused of attacking the Queen, and the Queen orders everyone to capture Alice. As the court official, the White Rabbit reads the charges against Alice. She's charged with attacking the Queen with a croquet mallet. Alice says she did not do it. The White Rabbit explains that several witnesses will come forward and explain what they saw. Alice takes a seat, but she's not happy about it. first witness will be the Cheshire Cat. The White Rabbit tells the cat to tell the truth and nothing but the truth, and the cat says, this is what I saw. The Cheshire Cat starts with its dance from earlier. You probably remember it. But the Queen doesn't like it. The White Rabbit calls the next witness, which will be the Duchess. The Rabbit reminds the Duchess to tell the truth. Duchess starts with her dance, and she doesn't say all that much, but she's enjoying all the attention. The queen is not impressed. Well, the next witnesses will be Tweedledee and Tweedledum. We'll see how this goes. They promise to tell the truth, but they really just want to dance. Well, as you can imagine, Tweedledee and Tweedledum are just dancing all around the place and bouncing off each other. The Queen is getting very impatient. So the next witness is the caterpillar. It comes out of the crowd and floats toward the middle of the room to tell the court what it saw. Well, that's a little hard to take seriously. And the Queen doesn't. Well, the next witnesses come from the tea party. the Mad Hatter, the March Hare, and the Dormouse. Let's see what they have to say. Oh, it's their crazy dance from the tea party. The Queen 
has had enough. The Queen wanted somebody to say that Alice was guilty, but nobody did. So now she decides to question... That's right. Alice herself. Alice is very happy to have the chance to tell everyone she did not hit the Queen. Alice starts to explain how she came to Wonderland. But the Queen interrupts. Alice demands to have the chance to tell her side of the story. Now Alice is mad at the Queen. They start to argue. You're not going to believe this. The white rabbit takes the gavel from the court, which is like a hammer, walks behind the queen, and hits her on the head. Then hands the gavel to Alice. The queen looks at Alice, raises her fist in the air, and says, seize her. And the chase begins. All of the creatures are running around trying to capture Alice for the queen. But most of them are just confused. There's the White Rabbit, the Cheshire Cat, the Duchess, Tweedledee and Tweedledum, the Caterpillar, ooh, the Lion and the Unicorn, and the Mad Hatter, the March Hare, and the Dormouse, followed by all the soldiers. There's Alice calling to the White Rabbit for help using the White Rabbit song. The White Rabbit sees Alice in the crowd. The Rabbit moves fast and reaches Alice. The Rabbit leads Alice down a hidden path through the Forest of Wonderland. There's that echo sound again. The white rabbit is leading Alice out of Wonderland. Chapter 8, Home, in which we learn how the story ends. Well, good news. Alice is in her garden asleep in the warm sun. She starts to wake up and is so happy to be home. So what do you think? Was this all just a dream? Or did it really happen? I guess it really doesn't matter. Alice remembers everything very clearly. She gives her sister a great big hug. The 
as they walk together toward the house, Alice tells her sister about all the amazing creatures she met and the adventures she had in Wonderland. 